All up in there. Look at that big old leech. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I have just embarked on a week-long adventure in the wilderness with Jake Ski Guy, our buddy Dan, and of course, first mate Poof Butt. We're gonna be carrying our gear from lake to lake, staying at a new campsite every night. We're also hoping to snag in some fish to cook up for dinner, but we brought along some delicious food just in case we don't. There is potential that me and Jake Ski Guy are gonna head out for a second week after we drop off Dan, so I'm stashing a second canoe just in case that happens. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Lock. All right, we got the lock. Okay, let's go stow this thing. I got you guys a present. Snowball! Oh, geez, I thought it was a rock of a bridge, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, I ain't throwing no rock. That's a hell of a way to start the day off getting a rock hog tag. All right, canoe we're is eating, stashed. We're eating Monty. Right? Monty. You can't eat Monty. Monty's invaluable. I'd rather starve. Ooh, Monty. We've got a heavy load. We brought out some steaks and stuff. We're planning on fish dinners. I plan on catching a monster pike. So I've got a super shad wrap. I've got 20 pound braid on this and 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm gonna try trolling this soon here. Way too big of a lure. It's, I only brought one. So we'll see how it goes. And these two guys, they're way back here. Also, Dan, we're gonna come up with a nickname with, for him later, but uh, he hasn't really ever done like anything like this. Uh, you know, like an extended canoe trip or really much canoeing in general and canoe tripping. So me and Jake thought we'd bring him out at the most forgiving time of year, which is late fall in the north. You know, it's definitely the most forgiving. You got the most stable weather, you know, just above freezing with lots of rain. So you, you know, hyperthermia is a real threat. Definitely the most forgiving. So, <laughs> he'll get the full experience. <laughs> Finally did it, I got a map holder. I know you're thinking, wow, who is this guy? He's not using Ziploc bags, letting his maps float down the river. This is my Stormy Cromer, I really like it. <laughs> Very warm. You can Crowers, represent whatever you want. It's the original Mukbu company, three different styles of them. Nice. We were talking on the way here, I was get you a huge Carmex sticker from the side. <laughs> It's like four foot long Carmex. <laughs> that would be good. A big old chapstick on your boat. I'll do that on my car. You gotta represent, dude. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna try to troll this way too oversized lure and see what happens. Yeah, give us a hoot whenever you snag into a lot. Oh, I've only got one, so I think it'd be best to lose it within 10 minutes of starting the, the adventure. What's gonna be really cheap is if you get one and then get up to the boat and take the tour. <laughs> we're gonna we're going for a personal best pike this trip and we're on a big old lake to start so got one <laughs> hey it doesn't pull too hard hey we'll see when I get a hundred feet of line out I'm catching a 67 inch pike just like the one I missed huh it's a wall mounter oh yeah that one my guy caught was pretty meaty I missed a 67 and a half inch pike on this spring trip. How do you know? Yeah. I just know it in my heart. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, it had to be. Point last year, I just don't have any pictures of it. The way it pulled on my pole, and when it snapped my line, I knew. This is 67 and three quarters. I got three master angler badges, dude. Yeah? Yeah. I got my angler badge. I caught a 42 inch large mouth. 42? 42, dude. Oh, man. I don't have any pictures, though. Yeah. I seen it, I was at the 42 or <laughs> I seen it. About you saved it for uh Loon! Look at those beautiful loons over there. Loon! What do you think about these two characters? Yeah, I don't know about them either. I don't know about this. Wait, you say they, they look for you, I think. 
They smell funny too. Man, this weather is pretty perfect out. It's like 50-ish. Sun's just behind a little bit of clouds, but it's still got a little bit of blue skies. It's gorgeous. I'm almost a little warm. I wish it was just a few degrees colder. But then again, I just bring wind. This is just like a perfect day right now. This is awesome. What do you see, Monty? Now we just need to catch a big old pike. I also forgot to mention, we actually got an early start today. A very early start. Such an early start that I've only got like an hour of sleep last night before the eight hour drive today. And, uh, you know, I was so tired this morning, I was shaving. And you can, if you look closely at my face, you can see that I shaved off a little bit more of this mustache on this side than this side. Now that you see it, you will not unsee it for the rest of the trip. Look at it. Tired shaving shame. Ooh, jeez. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I got it. <laughs> got it. All right, we're going to do some, there's a little hump over here. We're going to jig for some walleye. Hey Dan. What? Could your cat do this? I don't know, I haven't tried yet. Might have to. <laughs> You'll see Dan out here with one of the cat harnesses on his chest. <laughs> like a little baby? I don't know. Whoa! Oh, your cat probably wouldn't shift as much weight as this. What's that? I said your cat wouldn't shift as much weight as this. No. He's more of a cat guy. He pretty much said he hates Monty. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> It's not a dog person. I'm just kidding. So as far as my normal go goals go of catching a fish every day or, you know, the walleye, uh, oh, you know, Walter, Larry, Peter, and Bobby, I'm not going to really set those goals. I'm not going to really set any goals for catching fish. I I'll say one, one goal is I'd like to catch at least one fish this trip, but I'm going to troll this big lure a lot in Pike Lakes, so that's going to lead to a lot fewer fish on when I'm trolling this thing. What I would ideally like is just one big fish for the trip. That would be, that, I guess that's my goal, but it's going to be tough to catch one just because, you know, big fish, I'm going to be doing a lot of trolling and not many bites. I feel like if I troll this every day, I'll get one bite in the whole trip. Maybe I'll get a fish on, maybe not. But I think something will strike it at some point. That's my that's my guess, my goal, is to get one bite on this lure. And that'd be nice. Sea kayak, we're like, oh, late season sea kayak adventure, it's been great. It was, it was definitely the worst decision, but it, we made it out, so everything's good. I usually like to eat as little beef jerky as possible on like the first day, so that I can just pig out more in the next few days. That's understandable. You know? It's, you know, it was perfect when the sun wasn't out. Now I'm starting to get warm. Yeah, I'm a little toasty. I'm glad I didn't put my raincoat on. Oh. I think we should go to the beach. This is go a beach where? day. It's too nice. Beach day? Yeah, beach, beach day. Wine. Let's beach day it. I brought my uh, tanning oil. We'll be set. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, Monty, chill out. We're racing them. <laughs> We're trolling? How are you doing, bud? You excited to be out again? Yeah, you're gonna get treats later? 
You gonna get the stick thrown for you later? Oh yeah, you gonna have a nice half month in the wilderness? Maybe just a week, who knows? Oh yeah, that's a good boy. We got bacon, sausage, eggs, and hash browns. That's gonna be a good breakfast. All right, we are looking for our first campsite. Um, if this one looks good, we might stay here. We've got uh, we've got some meats we brought out. One good breakfast. So I think we're having like three nice meat roast dinners. Hopefully some fish dinners and then some other dehydrated stuff. But we'll see. But tonight we're having some ribeyes, I think. It's Dan's first campsite. He's just living the dream right now. Oh yeah. Beautiful little spot. What? Oh we got a loon out there. Where'd it go? Did you bring smoked oysters? Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Got so much crap in here. So tonight we've got some big old fat ribeyes to cook up. So we need to get some firewood. We're just gonna get set up here. Then go collect some firewood. Maybe toss the stick for Monty. What do you think Monty? Come over here, Monty. Monty, come here. What? What? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Stop it. You happy to be with you? Okay, okay. Alright. Alright, Skippy. Dude, I can smell those smoked oysters from here. Those things are pungent. Yeah? That's fine with me. The one nice thing about camping with other people, you sh everyone shares. Hmm. Jake's pulling out tuna and smoked oysters. Monty ain't going anywhere. Jake's got steak in his hands right now. Monty, you want this? He thinks it's a smoked oyster. He Monty! Hey Monty! Hey Monty! Monty! Snowball! I missed. <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Bro.
brought on my insulated sleeping pad. Oh no, I did get the patched up Monty one, good. But yeah, I brought on my insulated sleeping pad because it's gonna get colder at night. And I'm actually using a down bag this time for the first time ever. Um, normally I just use the Monty's uh, winter sleeping bag, his zero degree, but uh, that thing's like five, six years old and I've been compressing it and using it and wearing it down so I'm sure it's losing a little bit of its heat retention and I remember using that on a trip four or five years ago here and I was a little chilly even using thermals and stuff when it got down to the teens at this time of year so I wanted a warmer bag because I don't want to get cold so that with the insulated sleeping pad should be good to go okay they're just they're out on the canoe Mutti they're on the canoe same people that have been in canoe the whole time. I know this greatly upsets you, but you know what? You're gonna you're gonna get by it. Are you gonna go in here? You're gonna go in there? Go ahead. You're gonna, all right, go ahead. Go in the tent. You're in timeout. No, stay. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Do, do, do you? I'm just kidding, Monty. I think it's about time to get back on that water. Hey Monty, Monty's a cool disguise. You guys got quite the uh, stick pile there. We got some big ones down low. <laughs> big logs down low. Monty's gonna jump that. Oh man. It's loaded up there. Down you got the big guy. logs. I got a couple big logs in there. Well, I just got two. Oops, sorry Monty. Can we get more poking? Yeah, I'm just supervising. I think I'm gonna help these guys process up wood instead of fishing. It's a pretty sunset. What do you think, Monty? You wanna get out, Monty? Oh, jeez, oh, Monty. <laughs> He's a frisky critter. A little bugger? A little bugger? Well, your phone's gonna die tonight. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you got a good camera. I got, this is the best I got. All right, I'll camera. get. I'll get you a picture. You want a picture? All right. I'm just, you know, chilling in my boat, fishing, watching Dan saw logs. You're taking pictures on your little cute little iPhone three. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I seen it. I'm like that thing's like a little brick. <laughs> now we're on what an iPhone eleven, I think. Yeah. Especially with these next wet days coming up. Be nice to have. Careful with this guy's Oh, you're good. I'll just cover it with a little Monty face. We're gonna need a little, little, some little stuff on there.
Do you guys want anything other than Montreal in these? These oh, I'm good. delicious ribeyes. You think you're getting fish? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of focused on the ribeyes right now. <laughs> if I went fishing, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to make it out there, though. I was going to, but then you guys came back, and I was like, you know what? kind of sounds nice just sitting here. It's been a long day, bud. Yeah. Only got an hour of sleep last night. I'm ready to just mow on a ribeye and roll around in my sleeping bag. <laughs> I don't know what she was. She was in like Hawaii or something. What's Josh up to these days? Oh, uh, well, he just got married. And, uh. Not any. So, Dan's like, grab a bag of red pans. I look at the weight and I'm like, ah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm carrying three pounds of potatoes. Oh, man. This is going to be so good. Let me grab my butter. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Butter and these onions. We got black pepper with the potatoes. We're gonna go with classic black pepper and salt. We're gonna just sprinkle a little, a little drabble of cayenne over our steaks too. It's not coming out too fast, but just a little spice in there. There it goes. Get this on the fire. Okay. Whatever you think of. Oh, this is gonna be tough to cook the three steaks. Well, we'll have to cook up these onions and potatoes first. Oh, it's gonna be good. Okie dokie. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You want to throw tuna in there? Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. That thing's really hot. The fire? Yeah. I mean, I fire. Got, I got leather gloves too. Alright, Monty. You porky pig. Hey, I got a hole in his tent once. <laughs> Who did? What was that? I mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to cook in his best of you when it caught fire. Yep. <laughs> Burned up his crazy creek. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> we just looked at that clip and it was way worse than I remembered. The crazy creek at least. The tent wasn't so bad, but the crazy creek, oh my god. <laughs> Got a little bagged wine here, eh? It's gonna have to slide through like a toaster. <laughs> Is that enough heat? Oh yeah. That'd be good. Five to seven minutes to side. Those are some serious cuts of meat. Oh yeah, pound each. You flipping them? Uh, I'll try. Actually, no. I'll, I'll flip them. I'm doing the potatoes. I'll, I'll post the sink one in like a toaster. I'm cool. <laughs> you want you want that on my shoulders? Dan, we've, <coughs> we've cooked steak. <coughs> Excuse me. We cooked ah. steaks on the coals before. Was it great? Oh man! <laughs> oh, it's hot. Yeah, the grease burns the fingers. Why would you do that? Cause I'm you a man. A I'm a real man. All right, we're... that one's not cooking. Oh. I would almost throw that one back there. Yeah, dude, you gotta, you gotta give it some more coverage. That's dangerous. It could sink through. I will accept your judgment. Whatever you choose. Go out in your next photo here. Here, throw it. Mm, okay. You sure you got a third? I don't know, you can give me more. <laughs> I'm actually alright. I don't think you got a third, no, I don't think. How cool, how cool, man. Okay. The... Oh yeah. Oh 
Monty, you poor thing. I'll give you some chunks, don't worry. Mm. Hmm? Oh, here's still a good start. Hmm? <clears throat> hmm? Hmm? I said, well, here's still a good start. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. A few bumps along the way. Yeah. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Mule deer. <laughs> the mule deer. Oh yeah, that little hiccup. A little bitty hiccup. Monty needs a little cheers to that. Go go, Monty, go go ahead. Fire. <laughs> Dan, that's your job. <laughs> His mouth. Oh yeah, this is what's up. Yeah. I love eating food. Alright. This is going to shut up. No, I'm fishing, man. I want him to look. I'm getting pretty damn full. I was hoping mm -hmm. he licked my fingers off. He only did one. He'll clean your hands. He's a certified mouth cleaner. But he thinks I got like steak, so he's just like being picky. Okay. Oh. I guess I go clean my hands off in the water side. Yeah. Out. Oh. <laughs> Monty, you're not getting any more treats. You come to bed, mister. Come on. Monty, no. You come to bed, mister. Come on. Yeah, you come to bed. Come on. Yeah, you come to bed. Come on. Good boy, yeah. No more treats for you, mister. Oh, now you've accepted it. Alright. We're going to bed. I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning, Matty. Oh. Yeah, you like that. <sighs> Gotta hide the hat hair. I slept pretty good last night. I think Monty did too. <sighs> no, Monty. I'm ready to get up. Make some coffee and oatmeal. Okay. Let's do it. That is a beautiful scene out there. There's glass. What do you think, Monty? I got the same thing, so mine is just like six years. Well, much older than that, but it's been. It's, I'd say it's just as pretty as that one. Here you go. Yeah. You're making coffee? Help yourself. Yeah. You can have some of that. Cool. Gotta make my morning oats. That's aggressive. Well, uh, you know he's a good guard dog. He was so yeah. When you hear something, you're like, oh, cool. Good job, dude. He's a stuffed animal. Right, Monty? You got him all two stones in it. And burn it. <laughs> We're just too moody, but we're just eating what you get. <laughs> Dad, tell me. Explain more. Dad. Dad, you gonna put some water in and mix it? Alright, go ahead, Monty. Oh. Monty wants you to throw him a stick, dude. Here you go, boy. Here you go. That's <laughs> how you do it. He picked it up though, so that's how you do it, Posa. <laughs> Not the worst thing in the world, dude. Oh, it's boiling. What I learned to do at work is just pour water into the packet and then eat it cold out of the packet. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Soupy. 
soupy. You're still eating the paper that there's a white lead in. He, he oh, yeah. Thanks, dude. Hold up. Hold Thanks, on. dude. Get your creamer ready. <laughs> Actually, I, you know what? I'm going to try some creamer. It doesn't seem to mix. No, it doesn't really mix really well. Just it's just chunky. Yeah, yeah you chew it. <laughs> chew it. <laughs> is it wheat? I try to go white. The pose is like, all right. <laughs> no. It tastes like tar. <laughs> oh, Pose is a sensitive coffee drinker. I've noticed it's really light brown, so obviously. Hey, man. It's, it's meat and pose the standard now. No. I like it dark. You just made it so thick that it was like you're chewing on your oh, ground. motor oil style? Yeah, it was motor oil style. Got, is that all your oatmeal? Yeah, why? I'm, not oh, I'm just I'm asking. Not a shitload of it. <laughs> You're looking at me like, what did I do? I know. <laughs> I'm just like, just asking. All right, army surplus guy. Dude, I'm pretty <laughs> toasty right now. Probably. So I'm finishing my coffee, finish packing, and then we're gonna get on that water, get fishing. Oh, we're on film. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Pose outdoors. Today we're gonna get after a big old moose. All right. Okay. Oh, my deer leaning hard right now. We're off for the day. Oh. Oh, what a beautiful morning. The mist is cleared, except for that little bit right there. Nice brisk morning, the sun is hot. Feels pretty good. We got these wombats up here fishing. Oh, geez, Monty. You know who that is. So I think for the plan for today is we're gonna go down this big, long lake that uh, would be a nightmare in the wind to battle. But today is supposed to be a super calm, nice day. Tomorrow we're supposed to get hit with a lot of rain, so we're not quite sure the exact plan, but today we're gonna do like five portages. Most of them are pretty teeny, one half miler. And we're just gonna spend the day enjoying it, fishing, because this is potentially the, the nicest wet, uh, day of the trip. And the rest is gonna be kind of wet and cold. We're getting a front tomorrow, so the weather will change a bit. I might as well troll this monster. Hey, how's it going? Hey I'm gonna troll this four pound lure. Good morning, Monty. Fish just jumped in front of your boat. Oh yeah? Yeah. There you go, Monty. Hey dude, can you show me where the fish are, please? Bring me to like a 68 inch pike or something. Hey, All right. All right. You have yourself a nice day there, Loon. Looks like I have to get out for this one, maybe. Oh, nice! Skipping our first portage of the trip. Heck yeah, Monty! Good job. Straight through here. You steer it. We're going over? No. Don't put a hole in.
Party to the trip. Oh, oh, sorry, last one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good, Let me think about that, Monty. These young whippersnappers over here think they're cool skipping the portage again. Thinking they're hip. Trying to avoid Dan's first portage ever. This looks like a good leg to troll my little, my little teeny little lure. Are you just trying to make sure that your first portage is a big old good one? I can't believe how nice it is right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Dan had the first fish come up to the boat. No, no fish yet. So that's, you guys are portaging right now. Dan's first portage is a two rod portage. All right, we're gonna keep trying this thing for now. All right, Monty, hopefully we'll get a bite someday. Someday, someday. Yeah. You jack wagon. Oh, that down three up, baby. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That scared me. <laughs> I didn't even get scared. I was I just like, get a fish to fall out of the sky. Oh, that didn't even scare me. I didn't know what the fuck it was. It scared you a little bit. It was just like, it was good. I literally thought a fish fell out of the sky. <laughs> good placement. <laughs> Thanks. It's kind of fun casting this thing. I don't want to die out here either. I don't know though, if you had to choose a place to die, where would you choose? Probably out here. Yeah, probably. <laughs> huh. I wonder what's, what's going to go on in here. Yo, Jake, give me some back pedal. <laughs> We're all right, dude. It's fine. You don't have to stop it. I don't want to like hit you. <laughs> no, it's, it's not a big deal. I'll just, here, I'll just push you guys backwards. Thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah? Hey, he's got a fish on. No, I know. Got her. 
<laughs> nice job. All right, good job. Dan's about to pop his portage cherry. The last one didn't count. They went back and they didn't go over it. Sweaty after that one. Nice little half miler there. Right, Monty? What do you think you're getting, huh? Take a little snack break here. Those guys are getting their second load right now. Hooey! As you can see, I'm in my long johns. Mm hmm. I wasn't going to do that one again. My overalls on. Whoa. Don't go. You okay, Monty? Jeez. Alright. You're getting smaller pieces from now on. Oh, he's choked himself there. Go ahead. Get it, my Are you going to get it? Get your treat. So I think we're going to stick it out with the big lure until we get to the big lake. And then we're going to do the opposite of what makes sense and go with a littler lure on the bigger lake and keep the bigger lure on the littler lakes. Science. Okay. Giggle Dan. He's Jake's ski guy. Huh? <laughs> he's Jake's ski guy. Why that? Because every time we go winter camping, he's like trying to go uphill carrying a sled with cross country skis on. How's that work? It works out well, dude. <laughs> he struggles the whole time. <laughs> I, was say, I feel like it just sounds terrible. Without the flat, I feel like it's better, but it's a really enjoyable experience, man. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> a miler today. Huh? Is the mile portage today? There is no mile portage. That was we're not doing no mile portage. <laughs> I thought you said we had a mile portage coming. That was it. We were thinking about it. No, that's a half mile. That's probably right around the biggest that are going to be in the trip. Dude, I wouldn't have kept that. Yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't keep that. That was like perfectly good meat. Pike isn't good. Yeah, this is how Pike? Really you wouldn't survive out here. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, ball boy. <laughs> It just shows you got to be a better fisherman, dude. I caught the first fish. <laughs> Dan's got another fish already. What is it? I don't know. Smallmouth. Really? It's a nice one too. Yep. Yeah. Get it in your net, dude. Let's definitely eat that That's with a the big small mouth. Dude, let's eat that with the steaks. You got it? Ooh, nice job, dude. Now we're gonna be eating Dan's venison and Dan's bass for dinner. That's a hell of a smallie. Yeah, keep that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! I was literally just going to tell you the story how my nephew dropped the bass doing that. He fucking popped out. <laughs> oh, that was too good. I didn't try to do that. That was my bad. Uh, okay, well, I'll not get another one. <laughs> hey, there's big smallies in here. Oh, he was passing him the net. Jake was passing him the net. <laughs> All right. 
was a hell of a smallie. Oh man, dude, that was gonna be such good food for dinner. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Dude. Well, he stunned, and I was like, I'm gonna scoop him, and he was gone. He doesn't want you to catch any more fish. No, damn, that was a nice smallie. Now, he, now he's trying to sabotage my setup. See, I'd believe you, but I just don't see the proof of how big the smallie was. Hey, your dog's not in your boat. <laughs> that didn't work. He is like, no, he's right here. I can hear him squeaking. I hope we catch some fish for dinner. I know. Like... <laughs> I was hesitant about giving him the net. I'm like, I could do this, but nope. That's, that's revenge for me shooting his deer. <laughs> I would like to catch a fish, another one. I do want to catch a fish. I like how you get to say another one. Oh, you haven't caught one yet? <laughs> no, I haven't even have a, had a bite yet. What? Are you gonna show me how you're catching them? No, yeah, show me, dude. Come on, dude. I thought you were the first <laughs> master fisherman. I ain't nothing. I heard you got master angler patches. I'm gonna try jigging right below the boat where my boat the hell that. Oh Monty. Oh, that was greasy. Oh, that's a big rock bluff there. Are we hiking this thing? I'm gonna fish. I'm gonna go to the top. There you go. Hold up. We've got one guy that's gonna fish, one guy that's going to the top. Oh yeah. I don't know why, but throwing rocks off this cliff is so fun. Oh, Dan. Thanks for the good fishing. <laughs> You're welcome. What up, Monty? How's that lake water? He loves it. <laughs> I wish I could drink it. You can. Hey. Uh oh. Don't mind me. I'm just chilling in my undies. Nice. <laughs> Spreading them. I know I said I was gonna wait till the big lake, but I'm putting on the chartreuse slayer. We're gonna troll this guy out because we lost our fish dinner now and we need to reclaim it because we're having venison steaks for dinner and we want some fish to go with it and have wild game surfing turf. We were gonna have Dan's steaks and Dan's bass, but they, they ruined that dream. Jake's got a fish. Am I the only one that doesn't know how to fish here? Dang it. Dang Navel, what's going on? I'm the only one that hasn't caught a fish yet. <laughs> it's okay, we'll have our moment. We're gonna catch the best fish of the whole trip. That's where, that's, we're gonna stay positive here. <laughs> Dang it. Keep it. 
think he got another bass. Dang, I'm just getting owned right now. If we were relying on me for food, I'd be we'd be starving. No good. Yeah, I, I think we got enough meat anyway, but now we got more. We got to have that surf and turf. Makes all the difference. You're welcome, Poza. Thanks, man. What do you got there, Dan? Does that look like dinner? Hold up one eye. All right, we have finally made it to the big lake. I got the chartreuse slayer on. Oh, why is that doing that? Chartreuse slayer. See what we can pick up. Not gonna throw out the big old the great, I don't even know what to call that thing. The oversized lure. But we're gonna see what we can get with this. I think they're gonna go to the other shore and hunt for a campsite, so we're gonna stay on this lake tonight. And uh, it's a big old lake. So uh, all the other, all the campsites are on that, that shore. And this side's all cliffy. So, they're gonna troll that side, and I'm gonna troll this side. We'll see if we can pick something up, but Dan's got that one bass. That'll at least be good with the stakes. It's just absolutely gorgeous out. This is like perfect, and we're going with just a slight west wind, so we're just getting pushed. I wouldn't mind a little breeze at my back. Feel kind of nice. Ooh. Ooh. Got a fish! Ooh, whatever this is. Oh, this is a big fish. Ooh. I have my hat off and everything. Oh yeah. What is this? There's no way it's a bass. This is either a lake trout or a pike. Oh yeah, Monty. Come on, baby, what are you gonna be? I'm thinking the way it's just staying down and it feels like a big old log, it's gotta be a lake trout. Whatever it is though, either, either it's hooked funny or it, it's got some serious weight to it. It definitely feels like I'm bringing in a log. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> this is a fighter. We've got a feisty fish on here. What the heck is this? I think this is a pike. That's a big pike. Oh, oh. Oh, it's fast, it? oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. That thing was huge.
its head went in the net and it was just like, it was this long. I'm not even kidding. I don't know what that picked up on the camera. Oh, that thing was huge. There was no hope of even getting close. I, I, when it, oh, its head was in the net. Oh my gosh. It ripped off the back lure. Oh my gosh. That was the biggest pike I've ever had on in my life. I think that's even bigger than the old mythical 68 and a quarter inch pike. <laughs> oh my gosh, that hurts. And they're not gonna believe me now. Oh my God, that was such a big fish. <clears throat> My pride, 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 my
monster. Oh, I love the smell of the water coming off the waterfall smashing the other water. I love that smell. I'm gonna catch one in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fish on. Okay, we're gonna change it up. We're gonna put on this big old three quarter ounce green and white spoon. Still the colors of the chartreuse, but we're going back to the uh, heavy duty line, heavy duty pike pole. Got a steel eater on there. Yesterday, all my trouble seems so far away. Giant Peter just got away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Back on the positive side of things, you know, the goal for the trip was a personal best pike, and that was it. I mean, that thing had to be at least 36 inches like the one I caught. Uh, that was, that's the biggest pike I've caught before, having that thing next to my boat. I mean, maybe, maybe when I go back and see the footage, it'll look smaller, but I don't think so. That was a big one. But yeah, so that was like, I didn't land it, and I didn't get to like visualize it and feel it, but I could feel its fight and its pull, and that was a big fish. Surprise he let me get get him so close to the boat, but I was still I'm gonna count that goal as like a satisfactory uh, Accomplished because that was a big fish and it was totally my fault. He got away <laughs> Well, it looks like the two guys who can actually get fish in the boat. I uh, found a campsite. So I'm gonna head over there And we're gonna get camp together because we've got Hour and 20 minutes till the sun sets. We got to get firewood. We got to get set up they didn't, they didn't like that campsite, so I guess they're racing over to the next one. I guess we might be camping in the burn tonight. Looks like we might change lakes here at the last minute. Because now that we're in the burn. Yeah, we just camp here. No. You want to close there? No. Yeah, it's too good. We got a call. Look at that. You can, you can it looks that. really thick and just not friendly. I think we cut a hole in the forest, so we'll open it up. <laughs> getting, you getting chilly there? I am. My hands are getting cold and I am out of water. So. You're out of water? I got a filter if you need it. I need water! <laughs> looks like we're going to the next lake. We're getting to the camp yeah, when uh, the sun's setting. Friendly. This lake only had one ginormous monstrous pike in it. And it never got caught. It kind of got caught. I had its head in my net. Okie dokie, that wasn't so bad. You can see on that portage, um, on the left side was where the burn was. There was a fire that was right on the edge. That was really cool. The trail, like the fire must have stopped right at the portage trail. That was really cool to see. It's harder to tell maybe because there's like a fresh cedar on the other side, but it's definitely all on the burn. Might as well try for some more fish for dinner. I'm gonna try, this is uh, the jointed walleye slayer, but this is a little bit bigger size than the one I normally use. Okay, we are at our campsite for the evening. 
Those guys are listening to the weather radio down there. We're gonna get camp all set up. We got here. Ah, let's see, we've got up oh, sunset now. So it's getting starting to get dark. So we're gonna set up real quick. I need to start filtering water because I'm thirsty. Monty, bring it here. Come on, bring me that stick, Monty. Bring it here, Monty. Good boy. Hey, 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 give it to me. Come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. You can do it. Come on, bring it here. Come on. Come on, T. Bring it here, Monty. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. 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 Walk it. What? Okay. All right, well, it is getting dark here, so uh, I'm just going to quickly keep throwing the stick for Monty and set up my stuff. Get it all taken care of before it's too dark. You probably can't even see me right now. But we're all set up for the most part. I'm all set up, got water going. Pretty much everyone's water's full. Um, we got a smoldering fire kind of started. I'll just take a few casts here quick, see if I can get a walleye. All right, we're gonna do. Uh, pose a, er, the meat will probably go the quickest. Unless you want to cook it kind of separately. Um, meat. I'm gonna stop to eat these onions up. These will take a minute, and then we can just put it off to the side, throw the fish in there. I guess I'll hold off on the meat of pie go this fast. We got our fish filleted up. What else we got going on? We're about to make a feast. This kid, it's, it's all hectic. Oh, you got a big old pan here. Yeah. We should cook all the meat up in that at like once. Fish and red meat? No, not the fish. I'll do the fish separately, but still. We'll just put them underneath a, a, a canoe. Oh uh, yeah, just pile it right, right here and then we'll just bring our shit up to the canoe. Yeah. All right, so for, for dinner tonight, we are having a feast. A wild game surf and turf. Dan provided us with some venison here and he actually provided us with some fish too. <laughs> None of us could get anything. So what we're gonna do is I'll put some of this garlic here, here, half the onions here and here. And then we're gonna cook up the steaks with butter and the fish with butter. We'll drizzle some lemon on the fish. Monty's got some venison scraps, like the trimmings, which is plenty for him. And then we've got a double batch of instant mashed potatoes to go with it. So we're gonna feast. Here, half the end with the chops. This will cut it to a few pieces. Yeah. We'll get this here, we'll put some water in here. Okay. And then we're gonna get to cooking here. We got four cups of water in here because we're doing a double bash of the old mashed potatoes. And we got this big old thing. Monty's off to the side here. Okay, we're cooking. Yeah, I, you need to like. <coughs> I tried to mix it up in my mouth. Yeah, Dan just gave us some dehydrated peanut butter and it is just stuck to the roof of my mouth right now. And he's choking on it. A little more onion with the fish, or the meat. Look at that slurry for Monty. What would you make with the slurry? Huh, that's just water. Oh, okay. But it's all the fat is gonna be in there and the blood and he's just gonna just, oh, he's gonna love it. And there's a couple chunks of fish. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, great. Hey, buddy. Add some butter in here. I wanna try them, I've worn them a little. Get them in there. I'll get the fish. Which which pan onions? You're the big one. Yeah. 
Red clothes, where's that spatula you got? Um, it's over on the log right there. Could we cross contaminate? Yeah, it's fine. It's all gonna cook. We just need to get this fire going. It's like not burning in the right spots. Oh yeah, Jake, this could be your deer you didn't get. <laughs> Just a little more salt in the wound. That's pretty neat. What? I said, that's pretty neat. Still love you, bro. Okay. This is ready. We're going with the four cheese mashed potatoes. Oops. We're giving her. So I had, look at I mean, We're going to have to paddle tomorrow. Skin. Skin too. Hold on, let me stir my meat. Pose the Kai, use your spatula? Yep. Long Island, and then from there we're going into another map. We're going to. So what's the plan? Oh, what? Right? I didn't know what the plan was. Suppose you want to go over to Long Island and Cherokee. Yeah. What I do? Ooh, my this is all done. That was cut down a Davis at 323 rods. Or go over to Gordon and do an eight. 322, what's that, a mile? That'd be a Oh, that's so good. Oh, yeah. They'll probably be overcooked a little bit, that's okay. Yeah, we're good. It's all done? Oh, yeah, good, Oh, that's gonna be so good. Beat in the heart of the beat. It's not even hard for us. Oh my eyes! Did I mount your all on that? Yep. I'll be damned, dude. You guys ate what I have to eat with them. Mm hmm. Alright, everything's done. Does that look like three piles of the same? Yeah, it's good enough for me. Okay. Oh, holy shit. And we're just gonna go. Which one are you eating out of? Because I don't want metal in that frying pan, whoever's got that. I'm going to eat out of this one right here. Okay. Someone can eat out of the mashed potatoes one. Let's take a third of this. My eyes, dude. Did you not want to ruin that one? Oh, whoops. I got a plastic silver if that's what you're aiming for. Oh. Yeah, good luck. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's some good eating right there. You been a good boy, Monty? Go ahead, Monty. Nice bath cook work, Bozo. That's good. Thank you. Small as juice taste different. Mm hmm. It tastes a lot better, actually. I, I like them better. Mm. You don't typically like smallies? Never had one. Sorry, I'm just like staying in the way. Did you squeeze the fresh lemon on the bass? Yeah. Yeah. I put fresh tapatio. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. I am just in heaven right now. Alright. Ah. Damn it. Let me well, shut this off. Dinner wasn't enough, so we're having this Camp Chow Berry Cheesecake. Got this on my last my uh my fall trip. They're, these are made locally around here. You got pudding. Oh yeah. I think he's pooping. He just quick. Yeah, he, he had to go. He said he said he felt really uncomfortable and walked away.
Get a little rain tomorrow. We've got a pork roast we also need to cook. Yeah. And a full on breakfast. And a big old breakfast tomorrow. We're eating good. It's a little warmer than I'd like it to be though. For keeping all this meat and stuff cold. Mm-hmm. I'm having some dessert before my dessert. Alright, we'll just Hey Dan. Yo. Sleep with your uh this is it's actually really good. This is those meals from the trail center. Do we pass it? No. Mmm. That's good. <coughs> oh yeah. Get a powder patch or what? Hmm? No. no. It's got fruit in there, it's hard to eat, but otherwise it's good. But it breaks down though. Mmm. Yeah, the fruit didn't uh, absorb much. That's good. Mmm. It's like pudding. Mm -hmm. You know what's fun? What? Pooping in a downpour. <laughs> Monty was uh, <laughs> laying on their sleep stuff. Oh. That's, that's not your spot. Come on. That's not your spot. Come on. First you take Dan's spot, then you take Jake's, now you take mine. It's just rude. Alright, lay down, make it comfy. That's, no. Monty, no! That's yours. That's yours. Use your space. Use your space. Lay down. It's okay. Lay down. He's just like, it's not good enough. He's been just aggressively laying on everyone's stuff. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, yeah. Boy. Just, just, just a good boy. Oh, yes. Yes, that's a good boy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you stop that. No, no, no. No. Well, anyways, that was a delicious feast of a dinner. We had a good dessert. Had a long day. I still haven't caught any fish, technically. All right. Well, we're just gonna scrub the monty here for a minute, and we're gonna pass out. We're gonna wake up to probably rain and wind. It's definitely gonna be a weather change. Those guys are passed out, so I'm kind of talking quiet. But um, yeah. It'll be a different day tomorrow, so let's see what happens when we wake up, and we'll decide what we're doing. But I think we're going to make a big old breakfast tomorrow, so that's exciting. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Hi, Monty. Hi. Don't do that. Don't. No, no, no. Oh, I slept pretty good last day. I feel that food. Ooh. It's a little breezy out there, no rain yet. But, um, it wasn't as cold as the first night. My throat's getting sore. I don't think it's from a cold, it's just, uh, I'm snoring. <laughs> I gotta see what the plan is. I think we might move since it's not raining. Instead of hunkering down all day. So. Let's get up. Let's see what's up. Let's do it. Jake made us some coffee. And we told Dan coming in here. We said the most important thing to have was coffee creamer. So he brought what some. Just load it up. That's good. Nice. Coffee creamer. Almost feel like I'm back in civilization now. I I know what this guy was.
try to do it. So the official plan for the day is that we are going to move. Better we did. So we're just all getting packed up here. Uh, and I'm gonna queue up some oatmeal and not coffee because Jake already made that for me. So let's do it, Monty. <laughs> Oh, you need your stick. You need your stick. Don't just chase me. Go get that stick. Go get that stick. Get him, Auntie. Do we get any more paracord? I just had some in this bag. It's going to be bag. I just got fishing on it now. Look at it all. Right. Frisky critter. All the way here. Actually, there's not a lot of snacks here. Surprisingly enough. Hold on, Monty. This is yours, okay? Drink more water. Go ahead, Monty. Good boy. Look at that prime footage of Monty laughing at <laughs> Soupy hot! I can't find my fork! I burn! It didn't, the head didn't get in the boat, it got in the net. I think we learned a valuable lesson for both parties yesterday. Don't net big fish. Don't net big fish. And don't pass it to the person in the boat with you. Because it's going to go south. Just drinking my oatmeal, lost my spork. Somewhere around here. But uh, I'm just going to finish this up and pack up. We're going to get on the water and get to moving. Are you alive right now? We're alive. Live. Hey. All right. uh, we're off. Oops. Oh. So. I guess I lost my spork. I don't know how. It doesn't even really feel possible. I saw it in my tent. And it was right there. And then all of a sudden I was just getting breakfast ready and I remember moving it down to my cook stuff and it was right there by the fire. So, I'm thinking I accidentally packed it away or maybe these guys are playing a trick on me or something. There is just no way I could have lost it because I only went so many places and I scoured the entire campground for like, I spent an extra 20 minutes. It's gotta be somewhere stupid or I just set it down for some no reason. I just, I don't know. Maybe you guys packed up on accident. Oh, watch out for that rock. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a good one. No one knows what it's like to lose your spork, yeah. <laughs> to lose your spork today. Under gray skies. Hell of a rendition, dude. Thanks. I was gonna say, you know what's the best part about having a vegetable that's empty? We can just lean over, pee in it. Middle of the night, don't gotta move. <laughs> you know, I had like a 70 inch pike on yesterday. Maybe I could get another one. You saw some footage. Not, not a ton though. You saw enough to be like, okay, that's at least a 70 inch fish. 70, dude. <laughs> you took dose poops? Dose doses? Dose Mon deuces? Me and together and then I <laughs> you got the rare occurrence of pooping at the same time Monty is pooping? Yeah, it was like he was pooping and I like waited to make sure it was coming out so I could let you know and then I went poop and I was like, Did you guys make eye contact? No, he was like sitting off on an angle and then of course in the middle. <laughs> There's a good boy. No, that's not it. It's too mossy to be a campsite. Oh yeah, look over your back left shoulder pose with a seven o'clock. Yeah, oh wow. There it is. 
I'm just trying to catch fish. I don't know what you're doing. I've caught fish. Huh? I'm fishing. I am. I'm just straight up going for monsters here, okay? I'm only going for big fish. I'm not trying to catch little peasant fish like you guys. You guys have been catching little 18 inch pike. I'm over here catching 50 plus inch pike. Hey, I had like a solid small like that. I'm never gonna I have. almost landed that pike issue. I got it in my net. That's a fact. Hands in the gills or it didn't happen? No. But I did get it in my net. That is a fact. Even that's though like, that's that's, that's what like lost me the fish. Are winners. They're not. I despise drones. No. There's nothing worse than being chilling and then you hear it go It's a tidbit nipply out today, boys. It's a wee bit nipply. What do you say, Monty? How's that thick booty of yours holding up in this cold, huh? Huh? Uh, so I'm, since I'm, I'm calling that last, that our, our goal for the trip done, our new goal is to get one bite on this massive lure. Just a strike. Or a fish on it, ideally. Yeah, you gotta see it. Huh? You gotta see it. see what? Um, I, I catch and release that pike, okay? Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta hold it. Yeah, you gotta basically suck the fish. Okay, what's the biggest pike you ever caught, Jake? See, that one was bigger than one yesterday. It was 70. It was too much pike to handle for a canoe. It's at least 71. All right, we've got our first portage for the day. Nice little quarter mile. Quarter mile on the 16th. You know what? I know there ain't no sun out. This is just for fashion now. <laughs> No, it's still bright. Even with just the clouds and the reflecting off the lake. But uh, it's looking like um, we're gonna stay at the next lake because it's already middle of the day. Wind's kicking up pretty good. And uh, it'll definitely bring rain, we're thinking. So we're just gonna hunker down. We got a big old chunk of meat to cook for dinner tonight. And I kicked up a moose on that trail. I couldn't see it, but um, it was definitely, there's some fresh tracks and he, uh, you can hear him crashing through the trees, so I'm pretty sure it was a bull. Maybe it wasn't, but uh, thinking it was. I'm gonna take a cast here. Beavers are hard at work there, working on that lodge. Yeah, a nice pile going already. Nice foundation, what do you say, Monty? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Today is actually a pretty decent day for having a chance of seeing a moose, just because it's so cold, um, windy, they'll be moving around a little bit, but if it's super windy, like it's starting to get actually, they'll probably just hunker down because they can't, you know, you can't hear predators or anything like that. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen at some point. <laughs> What's up? Beautiful white pine stand right there. How can you tell those are white pines, Jake? That's the way they are. <laughs> the way they are. Oh, the winds are getting up there. Getting a little bit of gust. <laughs> this is like a wind funnel. We're almost to the end of the lake. And then it's just one more portage for the day and we're gonna bunker up. Get ready for rain and lots of wind today.
yell paddling. <laughs> Simmer down, boy. This is not. This is not battle canoes. You're gonna break Monty's nose. <laughs> Just trying to go straight down the middle. These guys are ramming into my backside. All right, Monty, what do you think? Huh, what do you think? Oh, he's all muddy. Oh, Monty, you might need a little dip in the lake and a brush in. So we got a really nice campsite for today. Um, you can see the wind's gusting from this way. So for our fire tonight, we have a nice, perfectly blocked campfire spot. All the trees, there's no wind right here, and you can see it blowing out there. And we've got all this open space to set up tarps for the rain and whatnot. This is a nice little spot, so we're gonna get set up here. What are you doing, Monty? What the oh, Okay, okay, that sounded vicious. Oh, don't run into their food. Look at it, Monty. All right. So this is going to be our spot. I'm going to set the tent here. They're setting up a hunkered down tarp and they're making their little snuggle palace again. Those two little lovebirds. Me and Monty are two lovebirds too, huh Monty? <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Okay there, Skippy. <laughs> all right, all right. I got you good right at the noggin. All right, that's enough, that's enough. All right, I'm just gonna get all my tent stuff thrown in the tent here and finish up. And then I think I'm gonna go with Dan and we're gonna do a firewood run. All right, we're off on a firewood collection expedition. You got some moose poop. Big old turd nuggets. Just like you, Monty. They're big turd nuggets. Don't step in that. This is our battle cruiser. You ready? Oh, Monty, what you doing? Oh, 
I think that's going to cut it. Please don't hit me in the face. This is bad feature. Now what do we do? <laughs> First split. Okay. We did it! That's a nice one. Yeah, it's super nice wood. Someone can sit on this too. Set up on here. Ooh wee! It's coming down out there. Yeah, I don't know how that bolt goes. You might have to copy that thing. So yeah, we're just chilling for the rest of the day. What time do we got? We got two hours, two hours and fifteen minutes till the sun sets. Monty's chilling on his pad. Well, we're all just hunkered down. Everything set up. Probably gonna have to cook dinner in pans, pork chops. So yeah, this is what we're doing for the next few hours. We might bust out some cards and just relax. Enjoy this day. Hey Monty, how's it going? Monty, you chilling? It is coming down right now. It is really raining hard and the wind is blowing. I don't know if we're getting 40, we're, we're getting probably 30 gusts, 30 mile an hour gusts. And it's a constant wind, but it is coming down. These guys are having a little bit of misfortune over here. They had their tarp set up right there and it's all rock underneath so it's just pooling has nowhere to, for the water to go and they can't even dig a trench or anything like that so they're resetting up somewhere over there back there I'm gonna go help them out though Dan had this nice trench going. It's getting pulled up though. So have to get it a little bit better.
How's it going, buddy? You're being such a good boy. You're in a nice dry spot, huh? Yeah. Your old spot's a little pond now. I think there's frogs living in it. <laughs> the wind and the rain is kind of picking up. I had to put away the DSLR because even under here it's kind of getting wet. It's a downpour right now. It's not friendly out there. And I don't think we'll be able to keep the fire going. We, we had a good idea in the start, but we're gonna have to deal with that tomorrow. It's a mess. And it's just getting rainier and rainier. It finally came. And it might even continue on till tomorrow uh, midday sometime. And definitely it's gonna be colder and windier and rainier. So this is the fall. This is more so what I was expecting, is this sort of thing. If this tree just what cracked. What are you doing? It pops and goes in your tank. <laughs> then I'm gonna be in real trouble. It just cracked and it's leaning over my stuff. I gotta move it. Scream if it falls on me. You can see it. It's coming up all the way from here and twisted down. And it's definitely gonna fall. And if this falls, it could explode all over their stuff, so they gotta move their whole setup. And I have to move mine, I'm not sure where to go, but this tree is probably gonna fall and make a big old racket. How's Monty, is he alright? Um, I should go check on him. Yo, How is Monty? Monty? the Monty. Oh. Hi Monty. You're getting some drips on your nose. Alright Monty, you good? You gonna just chill for a minute while I help him set up and yeah. Alright. You stay dry, okay? That's a good boy. You stay safe and dry, you stay there. All right, come on. Come on, Prince Bluff Butt. Let's go to bed. Well, not go to bed, but you know what I mean. Come on. Come on, you know what to do. You know what to do. Lay down. Okay, so, it is raining and cold. I'll set this camera up better, but we just both, we, the sun's just setting now. We've just spent the last hour or so dinking around, uh, piling into the tent. We're just gonna hang out under our tarps and, uh, eat dehydrated meals for dinner. Uh, I was just getting soaked, everything was getting wet, they were all getting wet. Um, Monty was looking for a place to set up so it wouldn't be in the tent, but it's all kind of wet in here and it's a mess, I just got everything in. We're just relaxing, but uh, we're gonna dry Monty off here. He needs to be a little drier. But yeah, messy out there, the tree going over, they had to move their tarp three times. My stuff was pretty easy to move with those guys helping. I didn't have to take anything out. But now we're just gonna get all dry. Very right, Monty, a little dry-ish for you. Can you see me over here if I huddle down next to Monty? It's kind of close quarters right now. I can't set up my camera the best. So we're gonna make our Mac Sketty? No, regular spaghetti, Monty. It's room for dinner. You're gonna have normal Monty stuff. Okay, it's not gonna be like last night. Don't get excited. Venison and fish, no way. The last two days we've been spoiled. It's always rainy and cold this time of year. It seems at least. Right, Monty? All right, got the dried skeddy in there. When you're taking care of a gerbil, you gotta make sure when you get it in its cage, um, you get it food and water. 
because it's only got so many places to go and it needs food. So when you get yourself a little gerbil like the one I got here, you gotta make sure to take care of it. Look at him stare at that food bowl. Mix it with my finger because we ain't got nothing else. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep, that's you. Go ahead. Just please. Go ahead. No, I'm just making sure you don't make too much of a mess. I shouldn't have gave you soupy food. Oh well. You're such a good boy. Oh, don't do that. No. No, no, no. Mm. Spaghetti's almost ready. I don't think you're ready for this skitty. I don't think you're ready for this skitty. Just another minute like that. I'm gonna pull it off. And then we're gonna let it sit. Just cooking out of the vegetable. The vegetable. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a little soupy. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm so glad I didn't make Max Yeti. This is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Look so snuggly, Monty. He's all nestled in his sleeping bag. He's just relaxing. <laughs> Ooh, it's like perfect. Mm. That's a little warm. A little warm. <sighs> I'm just going to eat this. I'm so hungry. And I'm huddled over. And I'm huddled over for the sake of recording right now. <laughs> I'm just going to sit back, kick back, eat this, enjoy this rain on the tarp. And yeah, just relax eating. He's uh just nestled under his sleeping bag. He's it's just laying on top of him. <clears throat> He's not zipped up in it. Yeah. I put it over him and he just kind of snuggled his nose into it, so I, he's definitely digging it. And if he gets too warm or anything like that, he's gonna, <laughs> he's definitely gonna get out of there. But he is just relaxed and let me pet him and stuff, and he's just opening his eyes because I say his name. But anyways, that spaghetti was pretty filling. We had a nice uh, rainy fall day today. It wasn't only, it was, at least we got to travel in the dry. And then set up. I did get a little bit more wet than I normally uh, would have liked to, as far as after we had all set up, because I was just kind of standing around helping them and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so my wet stuff's just laid out in here. But anyways, I've got to tidy up. I've got a mess. I got to brush my teeth. Everything. So I'm gonna do all that, and I'm gonna get ready to pass out and go to bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Don't lick my arm. Stop it. Stop it. I know it's salty. Don't do it. 
I slept really great last night. Ooh. I slept really great. I'm not just ready to go to the tent. So we're gonna get up. I think we might make our big breakfast today. So let's do it. Oh, it's drizzly out. Yeah. That's not good for the camera. Jake was just shouting out his favorite charity. <laughs> now this is a morning for a moose. Monty you going swimming? Oh yeah, beautiful scene out there. We making breakfast today? Yeah, if you want to make it. Yeah, let's do it. And then like waking up and sticking your foot in a boot that's kind of wet. Oh yeah. Feels good, man. <clears throat> Perspectives on good might be a hair different, but all right. Feels good. Oh, are you taking cast, dude? That's the one right there. That's the one? Yep. Jake graced us with French press out in the woods. Thanks, man. Yeah. What? Monty's hanging out with me. Are you guys pooping together again? 940. We're pl we're fine. Dude, I don't know what my watch, what data it collects in the middle of the night, but somehow before I even woke up, I had collected at least 200 steps. <laughs> you sleepwalking, dude? <laughs> I don't know. All right, Monty. Go ahead. Some sausage can go in this pan. Oh, now she's ripping. All right, do me a favor and just get this butter slightly warmed up. Oh, yes. On the oh, fire. Yeah, yeah. We're yes, your sir. assistant. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, good sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two pounds of egg beaters. Which I'm questionable on, but we'll Yeah, we'll see if it... Do you shake it? Were they supposed to? I would shake them a little bit. Yeah. Will I be able to fit the two pounds of eggs? Oh yeah, we got this. It looks like orange juice or pudding. You ready for these cute little sausage patties? Is that enough? It's never sure. enough. We'll save the bacon. Just save. Is that that whole container of eggs? Yep. Oh god, we should put that in a different pan. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. We should have just poured it in with the hash browns, man. Yeah. We still can. No. Once the hash browns Or don't cooked. even cook the eggs. You could, when these cook up more, you could toss the eggs in, it'll cook them in real well. What's wrong with that pan, man? This just gonna take a long time to cook. Nah. Or you could, when those are part of that alcohol cook. stove? Yeah. <laughs> no, the alcohol stove is the best. It's raining again, dude. Yeah, dude, it's raining. Oh yeah, we got sausage patties, eggs, and hash browns. There we go. How's it going? Going good. We got the hash browns over here. You got me a serve or you got them? You can take care of them if you want to. Where's your spatula at? The same place on the log. Watch out, Mike. Oh, we got some eggs. They're almost done. You guys doubted me. Hey, I, I've never had eggs in the jug. I've never had eggs in the jug either. This is a first. But they're they're almost done. Oh, the eggs are almost done. Looking delicious. Sausage patties are all cooked up. And the hash browns. We're about to have a breakfast feast. Oh yeah. What do you think, Monty? You just creep under that tarp in your little rain poncho? Little creature. Look at him. He's a food troll. He's living the dream. Oh, Monty, that's just yeah. Jake. Today's gonna be a, a real beaut. Oh, it's gonna be a beaut. You start the day off with this. How are we splitting this up? We got three pans, we got three foods. I'll take the sausage. You guys, let me take the eggs, let me take the hash browns. That's just an amazing job. 
It's like Emerald Live right now. This is like, I would I would get worse at a restaurant. Um, what do we want to do here? I feel like this one might. I think that one. That's the smallest pan. All right, which Bozo, one do you want? I feel like you're hungrier than me. I'm hungrier than you. Are you? Yeah. Just uh, give me a scoop of eggs in here, and what, what do we think? Do you want this one? Yeah. Just that. That that's, cool. That's pretty good. That's Thank pretty you. good. Hold on, I might have an extra sausage in here. I have oh, three dude, and a half. You do. So I'll give you this. Give half me the half. half. Yeah. All right, we're good. All right, that's perfect. Cool. All right. Yeah, that looks good you to me. Hot sauce? Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna tear it up. Yeah, I want hot sauce on my hashies. So bad for being what they are. The breakfast. Oh, look at that. Looks so good. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna feast. Hell yeah. Yep. All right, it's drizzling before my camera fries. I'm putting away that dish We're gonna pack up, clean up, get on the water, and get moving. I think today's the day, boys. I'm gonna catch a fish. I gotta catch a fish. If I don't catch a fish this whole trip, that'll be super disappointing. Oh, this thing hasn't been recording that whole time. Oops. We're switching to trolling the big old lure. I took off Monty's rain poncho and he's squeaking out because it ain't raining. A little porridge to start our day off right. Now for this one. We've got a nice, long, skinny lake. I'm gonna try trolling the big lure down the whole way. I got my waterproof shells on for gloves. I don't have any gloves out underneath. I just don't want my hands to get soaked right now. And the water to go down my sleeves. Oh, there we go. That's how you keep them waterproof. You just hook my cup through it. Okay, so we're gonna be relatively quiet going down this lake. And I'm just gonna troll because it's a long skinny lake and there's a good chance we could see moose. So, it's a good day for it. We're just gonna kinda be quiet and just casually paddle down the lake. <laughs> Monty's a lost little kid right now. <laughs> Can you help me find my dad? This is a sad puppy. <laughs> like, oh, why'd we leave that dry tarp thing? That was real nice. Yeah. Ooh. 
I got a snag and I was ripping line out. But here's my lure sitting right here on the top of the water. <laughs> this island is Jake's island. Sleeping on that green rock. Jake, Man. Jake, you can have the green oh, rock. I'll give you my chair and you can just pass out in it. That help my back, I think, though. So. There you go, just sprawled out in your bivy. Just over my stomach in the middle of my foot. There you go. Gets in my lower back. All right, you guys ready to knock out the biggest porch of the trip? Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you're seeing this clip right here, then something terrible has happened. So we just finished a big long half mile portage on what, day four? And uh, well, my GoPro fried my SD card. So the first three days in the morning of today uh, is gone. And it was a really fun porridge. I was going to take some cool shots, but uh, shit happens. Okay, well, we're just going to pray that this clip doesn't exist because I salvaged the footage somehow, but we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to sn snack <laughs> off and lunch up, and uh, then we're going to get back on the, the water and continue on with day uh, four of seven. Two pole oxen where it's at. Yeah. Should have brought my frozen pierogies ahead. Make up in the woods. I almost brought pizza rolls. Yeah, he didn't bring the pizza rolls. I was so upset. Need a butter grease layer, and then you make the pizza rolls. So they don't stick. All right. Nice little tea ba break after that portage. And uh, that was a really nice portage. I would like some shots of that, but we'll see about that SD card. Look at these lollygaggers. I'm already ready to make dinner, guys. It's taking so long. Down. Come, come. You go fishing. We'll see you in a bit. Try and catch a fish for once. We'll catch, hey. We'll catch the fish. Well, that was a flooded porridge. Probably the most flooded porridge I've ever seen. We had to go off to the side and float our boats on half of it. 
That was fun. A lot of fun. But we're on our lake for the evening, so we are now going to find a campsite. And we have a pork roast we need to cook up tonight. I think we're gonna cut it into chops and probably cook it over our stoves under a tarp, but we'll see. We shall see. I still have yet to catch a fish, so I need to do that. Safe tree! Embrace the suck. Yeah. I always do. We can chill and. Well, what my fear is, is that where we all chill, it's going to turn into a mud pit and we're walking all over from it. Well, you just don't throw one of those spots. Well, we don't need to like walk under the whole thing the whole time. <laughs> Poor Monty. Oh, he... There you go. Don't worry, Monty. We're gonna get to camp soon. We're gonna throw you a stick, get you all dry, get you a spot. All right, boys, this is canoe adventuring. Woo! Late fall. Here we am. It's getting a little colder to turn an ice cone. Yeah, I wish it was snowing. This stinks. <laughs> I think we're getting close. Well, we're getting somewhere. At least it's a protected fire spot. Yeah. And there's no pools. At least Monty always helps. Huh? At least Monty always helps. Oh, Monty always helps. Hey, right, Monty. Yeah, you're helping. You're helping, aren't you? Yeah. Give me treats. Oh, give it to me. Don't worry, Darth Montius. I'm getting you a spot ASAP. <laughs> Don't look so gloom. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Let the treats flow through your veins. <laughs> Here, Monty. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come on. Come on, Monty. All right, come here, dude. Right here. Go lay down. Go boy, lay down. Good boy. All right, Monty's got his spot. Now I'm gonna set up. Okay, now I'm just gonna finish setting up here, get all my stuff in here, and we'll get to the next step. Oh, very wet in the tent. Everything's wet. Oh, how are you doing there, pal? Oh, I'm peachy, how are you? Oh, peaches and cream. With a little wetness. You know what's gonna make it better though? Eating pork. Eating pork. You got that right. But right now I'm just setting up a sleeve stuff. Monty's chilling under a tarp. 
We did get a little moisture in the tent. All right, so I'm gonna set up all our sleeping stuff, and then we're gonna get back under the tarp where Monty is and get cooking. Look at some dinner. Come here, Monty. Come here. You've been a little wet today. You need just grind, buddy. I think we're gonna stay under this tarp, right? You promised. You have a whole barrel of snacks right there. That's all you can think about. Come up, Monty. They're, the snacks are not going anywhere. They're not going to share any, okay? Suppose they're using Montreal tonight. Yes. Cutting up the pork chops would be great. Okay. Cut those into some slabs. Are we going to have it with the mashed potatoes, you think? What are you guys thinking? Sounds good. I got taters. You want some taters? Taters? What kind of taters you got? Oh, you do? Oh, Starburst, let's take a quick bite of these. Monty, if you were facing this way, you could beg easier, but you're facing the opposite way. <laughs> Most people underhand it. <laughs> what, what just <laughs> happened? Really what the was that? A tan. <laughs> what was that dude? noise? It was uh, a bunch of powder in my throat. <laughs> Dan's cutting up four day old pork. It's probably gone bad, but we're gonna eat it anyways. <laughs> I gotta smell this. Dude, I got snacks over here. Hold on, let me. Well, that smells fine. All right, those are pretty well cut. Yeah, that looks perfect. Yeah. Let's do a raffle at the end of there. Winner gets Monty. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, no, no. <laughs> and, and we'd also like to thank Pete Carhartt. They've been a wonderful product on this trip. I do not own a Carhartt, and I'm soaked, but these guys are doing great. <laughs> yeah, this could be a Carhartt plug right here. My Me and Dan are dry as a bone, Jake's soaked. Get under there. Monty. Oh, it's alcohol style. <laughs> Which one's the winner here? Yeah. <laughs> These are gonna be kinda. Oh my god. This one's way thick. We're gonna get on the alcohol stove? <laughs> it's not gonna get hot out. Oh my god. Well, we'll switch. <laughs> There's no way to do all these at once. <clears throat> They're gonna have to be like three at a time. That one's super thick. This is gonna be a tough cook, huh? Probably. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> keep that one in the middle. Yeah, well, keep that thick one in the middle. Let's hope. Not too bad. Cool. All right, go ahead, Monty. Can you do me a favor yeah. and hold this on the big pork chop for me so I can cut it? Get him, Monty. Where? Right here. There we go. Pork chops and mashed potatoes. It's getting cold out. Yep. How does it taste? Good. Doesn't taste rotten. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, 
happy. Hi Monty, how you doing? Done. All right, how much more you want? Like a half of a half. Half of a half. All right. Yeah, I don't want it gone. The face of a dog that wants pork. Monty, do you want this pork? Do you want a treat? Want to go to the dog park? This is pretty dang good. It's hot, very hot. Whew. So, I'm gonna finish up my pork here. Clean up this disgustingly terrible Pam. That's not gonna be fun at all. And then we're getting this tent get ready for bed. What reminds you? So pretty. Oh, that was the best sit pretty you've ever done. <laughs> Good job. Good boy. Yep, Monty, he didn't mind his sleeping bag yesterday, so we're going to try it with him today. Got him wrapped up. And if he doesn't like it, he'll get up, and I always wake up for him. Anyways, that was delicious food. I'm I'm pretty full. I'm tired. It was cold. Cold day. Cold, wet day. So we're going to stay dry, so I'm going to pass out. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Morning, Monty. Okay, Monty, don't do that. Monty. Hi, Monty. It's chilly out this morning. Monty's ready to get out. I think I might make my oatmeal and coffee in my vegetable this morning. Monty, you think you want to be out there, but it's, it's snowing right now. What do you think, Monty? Do you want to get up? Or do you want to just stay in the tent all day? Wind's howling. Everything seems a little chilly out this morning. So, yeah. I'm going to make some coffee and oatmeal for my vegetable. And we'll go from there so I can sit in my sleeping bag. Maybe we'll let you out, Monty. You seem like you want to be out, but you don't. You want to stay here. You want to stay here as long as you can. Stay here as long as you can. Hi, Monty. I think he wants some food. It does hurt though that that pike is now a super myth. <laughs> hey. Monty. What's wrong with you? He hears something. Timmy Stay. fell in the well. Stay. No. Get him, Monty. No. Get him, Monty. Show him. Bad dog. No, he's a good dog. You're a bad Jake. I've got him wrapped back up. Okay, coffee. My oatmeal's gonna be thick today. I ain't got enough water. Oatmeal. Not soupy. Well, it's a little soupy. What do you think, Monty? Monty, you can go back out there if you really want to, but I feel like 
It's warmer in here. Normal oatmeal. What time is it? Oh, that's it? Oh, cool. Oh! What, what temperature do you guys think it is? Final guesses. Temperature? Yep. 37. I'm going to say... I like 35. 34. Thirty-three point two. How are you enjoying your first trip so far? Oh, it's good. Today is the best day so far. <laughs> <laughs> it was snowing this morning and it's rainy and it's cold. Even all wet. My buddy uh, Jake over here taught me on my first Boundary Waters trip that uh, if you ever want a quick chocolate treat, you just take a pack of hot cocoa and dump the dry powder in your mouth. Take a little at a time, dude. That's the whole thing your breath away from you, about that much. Yeah. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, oh shit. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I would recommend trying the cinnamon challenge. It is terrible. I just got cocoa powder all over my tent. Oh, cinnamon, I did. Oh, well, I had that happen Genius yeah, alert. Holding a spoon of cinnamon. The water's within five nautical miles of shore on western lake superior from Grand Portage to two harbors, Minnesota. Oh my god. What? I just don't feel good. Oh no. <laughs> Did we eat bad pork? I don't know what I feel worried about. <laughs> yeah. Monty's here in the sleeping bag. It's snowing out. It's cold, windy. We, uh, we're unsure if we're moving today or not. So far we're just sitting here eating and Dan's pooping a lot. And we're videotaping this. <laughs> we're eating cocoa powder. Anybody want a chocolate treat? No. Yeah, throw me one. Like, like, you want one? Yeah. Like a candy bar? No, I'll give him hot cocoa. Uh, I'll have one too if you don't mind. Sure. I mean, yeah, Jake is the one who... Jake showed me that. Alright, ready for the hot cocoa? Ooh, that was the like best throw so far. Both these for me? Uh, yeah, Dan doesn't get any. Give me that stick. Hey. Hey. Well, it looks like the plan is to stay here for the day. Jake is out working very hard getting firewood. We're just kind of chilling in our sleeping bags still. Because <laughs> it's real toasty. We've got, what? seven hours of daylight so the plan is to collect a whole bunch of firewood oh, they have a big long ripping fire for us today we're about to we're about to get up and start helping jake he just got a bug up his butt and just had to go get firewood immediately and we're just moving slower um so yeah i haven't done a chill day in a long time it's been years well maybe not no no it's been a year or so Normally I move every day, but yeah, we're gonna stay today. It's kind of nice, it's cold, windy, snowy. So anyways, I'm just gonna get moving here and then we're gonna help Jake chop a bunch of firewood. Was that snoring last night? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah? He was, he was snoring too, I don't know. I think that's most of you I heard though. Cool. <laughs> Name dropping hard. This one I'm gonna put right in this check mark here. And she's just gonna split nice and easy. Oh, would you look at that. And Jake goes, it's not. 
Yeah, I'll put that over there. <laughs> oh, that's some solid wood. No, that's good wood. It's good, it's good wood. Tiger's got that one. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here, Monty. Come on, 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 Monty. You gotta get him into it. Yeah, Come on, Monty. You gotta get him into it. Good boy. There you go. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, mister. Ooh, that almost hit Monty in the head. It's okay, Dad. You didn't get me this time. <laughs> you didn't get me. Pose, I hope you catch it right there. I hope I do too. Oh, that was a real nice cast. Little slip. Well, oh, part of me thinks it wouldn't be too bad to go fishing today. Is that? Part of me thinks it wouldn't be too bad going out fishing today. Why not? Oh. All right, we're out. It's not crazy wind over by our camp. So me and Monty are gonna do some trolling. I'm gonna put on the old chartreuse flare. Woo! We're gonna go for a fish dinner. I need to at least catch a fish. So I haven't caught a fish yet. We're on like day five. I'm setting a new record for not catching fish. So we're gonna troll around a drop off right near camp. We might go to other places, but let's see if we can pick something up. I just did a big old loop along some nice drop-offs. I'm gonna do the whole loop one more time. And uh, the wind is, it's a little chilly out. <laughs> I won't deny it. Monty, I got him warmed up. We threw the, I threw the stick for him a bunch before I took him out and uh, warmed him out by the fire. So he's good to go for quite a while. He's fine back there, but it's definitely brisk. It's definitely brisk out. Come on, fishies. I need one. I need one for the trip. I need one. I haven't been fishing too hard. Just been kind of enjoying the trip, you know? Fishing here, fishing there, moving around. Just been mostly trolling. Okie doke. So we're just going to troll our way back to camp. Throw the stick for Monty, you know. Have a nice cup of tea. Maybe we'll pick something up on this gigantor. We're gonna head back. I'm sure Monty would like a nice stick. And I want some tea. Monty, what do you think about this? He still feels indifferent about it. We're going back, Monty, don't worry. We don't need to be sitting out in the snow. Oh, oh it's chilly on my face. Oh. Since we got back from fishing, we've just been sitting around the campfire. Uh, Drinking tea, 
just relaxing and it's looking like it's getting beautiful out there and kind of calm so maybe go take a few more casts and go watch the sunset on the lake what do you see what do you say Monty yeah you can play enough fetch today yeah trolling for some walleye using the big old jointed walleye slayer we just had a bite Ooh, it started snowing pretty good here. I think we're gonna make our way back to camp. I'm sure he's fine. Doing Jake's. <laughs> Doing Jake's stuff. Just paddle around in the yeah, dark. Yeah. It's okay. I do it. He's probably fishing. All right, tonight on Jake's Kitchen where everything tastes good, we're gonna have bacon spaghetti. Get on the fire. What's in there? Some black trees. Bacon is about done. Oh, cheese? Thank you. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get some bacon in there. Let's baketize this spaghetti. I've never done this before, but I think it's going to be good. Oh yeah. Ah, let's eat. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Think it's cool enough to eat? All right, Monty. You already ate dinner, so you're getting one piece of bacon. Come here. Can you sit? Sit pretty. Twirl. Can you twirl? Good boy. Good boy. All right. The rest is mine. I don't know if I should have chopped this up, hey? That's what I'm learning. For what? That's what I'm learning. Yeah. It's gonna be like a big old piece of bacon and spaghetti. That's not too bad. Got a nice crunch to it. Whew. All right. Whew. Oh, good. Hot or cold rice pudding? Yeah. So we've got Trail Center's Camp Chow. We got James Rice Pudding tonight. It looks delicious, Matt. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, Trail Center, for your scrumptious goods. Jake. 
They are paid for. <laughs> they are paid for. Gee Willikers, Matt. We've got two and a half cups. What are we doing? Dessert tonight? <laughs> yeah, we sure are. James Rice Pudding. There's a chunk of this. See, you got these little rabbit turds. Those go in first. And then you dump this in. All right. Just boiling water. Nice nip in the air. Oh, yeah. What about Rita's rice pudding? It's James rice pudding. Can you tell us about James, please? Yeah. I don't know much about Oh, it's still a little soupy. Ooh, that looks good. It does look good. I might have I might have made it a little too soupy. It's all legit. It's all cool. And it's cool. Ooh. That's like a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be a filling in. Yeah. We're all gonna be sick after this. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> oh, this is kinda hot, eh? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're just gonna snuggle this big old teddy bear here. I ate way too much food. I am tired. Mind you, you tired? It's a mess in the tent. It's a big, big mess. There's stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna get ready and pass out. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good day, everybody. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. No! Go ahead, Monty. There's snow on the ground. You hiding, Dan? Hey, look at that. Modern conveniences. And he's burning his gloves. Yeah, I am. Come on, Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Monty, eat your food. He doesn't believe you. No. What? That's not mine, dude. I'm going to get home and just get a nice bowl. Soupy. Like my poop? Like your poop? And now the local forecast. Here we go. Today, decreasing clouds. Ooh. A 20% chance of snow showers in the morning. Hmm. Highs in the upper 30s. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. What a beaut out there today. Got a little frost on the ground. Maybe we'll see a moose today. Mmm. Currently 32 out. Blue skies. Blue skies? I see some clouds there. <laughs> There's blue skies there. Sun's peeking out. It's gonna be warm on the water. Oh yeah. Monty, what do you think? Monty. Ah, Monty. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm just gonna finish up my oatmeal here and drink my coffee. Finish packing up, get on the water, get some fishing and paddle and portage Mm-hmm. Here, Monty, come on. Let's go. Can you go? Oh. And we are off for the day. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna start our day off by trolling the old chartreuse slayer. The chartreuse slayer. Our rod's a little frozen right now. Well, or real. A little frosty. Got a little chilly last night. We've got some deep sections to go through. Let's see if we can pick up a fish, because we are on day six and we are fishless. I have not brought a fish in the boat. I got one in my net for a moment. It was only his head. He was a big fish that was never gonna fit in that net, but he got away. The net is what let him get free. I learned my mistake. I'm probably put on my sunglasses. But they'll be all frosty and foggy. So I'll need to wipe them off, but I don't have anything accessible. So we're just gonna deal with it. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. It's not oh, there's one in the eye. It's not so bad. Optimistic that we're gonna see sunshine today. This is just some morning stuff. It's gonna pass. Mother Nature's coming at ya. We're gonna get you some sunshine, eh? Okay, then we're gonna get ya a fish. Thanks, Mother Nature. I know you got my back and Monty's and these other two ding dongs that are with me. Here we go. We went over which campsites we're gonna shoot for tonight on the next lake. We, we just skipped the portage there. And I'm gonna let those guys go ahead. And me and Monty are gonna do our own thing. Cause we've got six and a half hours of daylight. We don't have too far to go. So I'm gonna catch a dang fish. Right Monty? I need to catch a fish. There's a wintry scene out here. Winter's here, cheers boys. Oh, they're so foggy. Can't see anything.
got my heart going. <clears throat> Nothing's working for me right now. I've tossed it out, let it sink. I've reeled it in fast near the edges. I've kind of jigged it back. I'm just not having much luck with the fishing this time around at all. so funny the degree difference when the sun is out and beating on you when you're wearing all black versus it being behind the clouds. It's like at least 15 degrees difference like almost instantly. So no luck here, unfortunately. So I think we're just gonna, the portage is right up ahead, we're gonna get to the next lake and then we're gonna do some trolling with the little chartreuse slayer. Nothing's working, man. Nothing's working. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? All bundled up now. I was throwing the stick a bunch for Monty there, give him some warmth. And he uh he kept hearing something. He'd go grab the stick and then he kept hearing something and drop the stick and start barking. And he was like, ruh, 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 ruh. So I had to stop. That was enough. We had a little snack break. This is the lake we are on for the evening. Um, those guys are a bit ahead of me. They're gonna go scout out a campsite. I'll let them take the wheel for as far as picking goes. I am an open book. I think we're gonna try for one of these islands uh, on here. There's lots of little islands. We're gonna pick whatever one's most protected, but I'm just gonna be trolling my chartreuse slayer in a minute here once I get out in the open. And we're gonna try to finally pick up a fish. This better be the lake. Cause if we don't catch one today, I'm gonna feel real nervous about tomorrow. Come on, Chartreuse Slayer. One of the beautiful things about coming this time of year when it's this cold and, uh, you know, unforgiving is you don't see anybody. We saw some people the first lake on that sunny Saturday when we put in, and we haven't seen a soul since. It's been just us on pretty much every lake, and yeah, it's a pretty sweet feeling. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fish on! <laughs> we got one on. Doesn't seem huge. All I know is that there's a fish on the line currently. Oh. Doesn't feel very big. It's okay. That's okay. 
All that matters is we've got one on for right now. Come to Papa. Yeah, you come on to Papa now. Show him how you mind me. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like it's just coming right in. It feels like a, maybe a small lake trout. It doesn't feel like a pike. Could be a bass or a walleye. I'd love a walleye. I'd also love a bass. Lake trout I'd be okay with. Pike I'd be okay with. Only problem about lake trout this time of year is you can't eat them. I have to let it go. That's why we prefer to not get a lake trout. But it feels like a lake trout just by it's just coming in. Or it could be a walleye. Or it could be a bass. I'll just keep repeating myself. Whatever it is, it's a fish. It's got gills. Come on, baby. Walleye or laker. It's not a pike. It's got to be. It is. It's a laker. It's a laker. It's okay. There we go, in the net. I got a fish. Ah, I got a fish. Okay, we're gonna let this guy go. Yes, at least I caught something, all right. All right, I can live with that. I can live with that. All righty, at least we got one, eh? Doesn't matter if we can't eat them. We still got our fish. I would like a walleye. That would be sweet. But, you know, that's okay. As long as we're catching them. Let's catch another one. I don't even care if it's another lake trout. I do want a walleye. Really bad. Or a bass. No, I seriously caught a fish. All right, let's see some pictures. I don't have any pictures. Video. I got video, but we won't be able to see it for weeks. You have to just take my word for it. Why, Why can't you put it in the DSLR? It's not the same SD card. You showed us it the other day on the GoPro. Yeah, but that was the one that fried my SD card. I'm not using that one again. Let's put that SD card in there. No. Let me smell your lure. I don't know you. You want to smell my lure? No, I lost my lure. How? I seriously caught a fish though. Yes, I did. I caught a fish. Just like I had like a 70 inch pike on. Well, I guess we're taking, we're not taking that campsite on the island. It was a little exposed. A little exposed. Oh. They don't believe me they caught a fish. <laughs> It'll be a myth. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know on that side. Oh yeah. Yeah, I caught, I caught it on that side. Somewhere over there. I don't know. I couldn't tell you exact. Huh? I don't know. It was like 15 to 25 inches. I don't know, it was like, it was like 18. No, I'm not, I'm not full of shit. Okay, we've got our campsite, we got our bags all out of the boat. Um, right now we're gonna go get some firewood. Um, and then we're gonna process that up first, or maybe no. We're gonna get firewood first, and then we're gonna set up camp. Then I'll probably jump in processing, and then we're gonna burn a fire all day.
Well, Monty, I don't know how, but we're gonna make it out of here with all this. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Paw on it. Paw? You, you trust me? Paw, good boy, yeah, you trust me. All right, let's do it. Jake, you want to chop this up in the like eighths for me quick? So we can get the fire started? Yeah. Split it open. Dude, Here's no fire. more on rocks. I heard that. Wood from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, I knew Paul was a sleep kid. You want to? Want the white one? Dan, have you laid on one of these? No, it's done. Do you want to come lay on it? I do Do you want to come lay on it? No, I'm cool, but thank you. I'll You're you sure? Yeah. Come on. That was really dirty. You're a Carhartt commercial. Pose is in the commercial too. That's what we're just doing. I'm just sitting here smoking. We got our dog. We might need a lab. Okay. This is not animal abuse. He's enjoying it. He's enjoying it. Okay. Okay. He's practicing in the dome with his sleeping bed. Okay, 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 okay. Monty. He's coming right, you ready? No. Fire. I'm that sorry. was my fear the whole time. He's Jake's down by the water again, taking pictures on his iPhone 4. It's really outdated, and every time he sends me the pictures, they look terrible. Are you gonna put it under my overalls? Dang, bro. Oh, yeah, we're warm tonight. No sense being cold. Oh, these are wet. <laughs> what is? This is the end of the sleeves I had on my when it's pouring rain. Are we on an island right now? No. no. Oh, Better be careful. Bears can't get to islands, it's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I got my two little wood gnomes hard at work. I'm just sipping on hot cocoa. Ready to make some spaghetti. Santa Claus? <laughs> I think I'll get my spaghetti ready now. Good, dude.
Yeah. You hungry? No. I'm really glad to join you on this glamping trip. Yeah, I love glamping. I glamp, dude. Glamping is... Yeah, Throwing the stick for the old Monty boy. It's 25 degrees out currently and it's going to get colder tonight. Hopefully it dips into the teens. Just cooking up my spaghetti, trying to warm up Monty a little bit. These two guys are making their side-by-side -side beds again. They like to hold hands when they go to sleep. What? Enjoy your tent. I will. That's Anyone want to come inside my tent for the oh, night? Yeah. I heard you drinking <laughs> in there last night. Uh, you guys can share the fart pals with me if you want. Get him, Monty. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep throwing it for Monty for a bit here as my spaghetti cooks. And I'm gonna eat. Right, Monty. Right. As long as I open my bed, man. Dang, Posa. That's gonna be a good meal. I'm super hungry, haven't eaten anything in a while. Hold out. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you make your spaghetti yet? Oh, dude, look at that. Yo, you really like wait for it to dehydrate. I oh, think that's yeah. like <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm so proud Monty just decided to sit next to the fire for warmth finally. Oh, yeah. Now you're kind of making me hungry. You want some, Skitty? Oh, good, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like perfect eating temperature. Okay. Bye, Bunty. That's a good boy. See, he's even got, it's his Monty sleeping bag. <laughs> it looks just like him. Zipped in his sleeping bag. I ate a bunch of food. We actually just saw the Northern Lights. We just spent like an hour looking at the Northern Lights. I will insert a picture right here of my best Northern Lights, Lights pictures or picture. But there's no way the camera could pick that up. But it was pretty sweet and then they just kind of died off. And it's very cold. I'm going to pass out and tomorrow's our final full day with Dan. And then we must make a decision. Or no, not till Saturday. Anyways, tomorrow's our final full day, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Why do you want to go outside? Alright, let's put some layers on and go outside. Let's do it. <sighs> oh, it's a beaut out there. I just tell you I'm not filming every time now. You should go live it's more effective. Long. Live? Are you telling your viewers about that? Or help us spawn you murdered last night? <laughs> There's a moose calf out here and Matthew Vincent Poza.
He went after it with a hatchet and laughed about it. Hey, yeah, Monty, you got that stick? Go get that stick. I'll throw it for you. Go get that stick. Go get that stick. <laughs> okay, don't do that, but go get the stick. Don't you got the bark, Poza. Might be having soupy dog food. Is he having a nice good stool while he's out here? Yeah. He's having some good poops. I'm real proud of him. Right, Monty, your soup's got to sit for me because it looks really hot. I'd help you boil our water. All right, go ahead, Monty. So for breakfast this morning, instead of my normal oatmeal, I got this made locally Camp Chow Trail breakfast. It's got like sausage, hash brown, cheese, and eggs. All right, let's see what this is about. But that's one spot that it keeps coming back. Ooh, a little watery still. Not too bad though. I'm gonna let it sit for another minute. I think it needs to sit for another four. Another four? Yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Thank you, Trail Center. Mmm. Quality. I'd body. like to thank Trail Center for this glorious meal my friend Pose is having today. And, and also Carhartt for supporting our trip and keeping us warm during these rough days. Dan almost went hypothermic on us, but it was, if it wasn't for his Carhartt, he, he survived. You hear that, Carhartt? All right, I'm gonna finish up my breakfast, I'll my coffee, watch these two ding-dongs pack up, and eventually join them, and then we're gonna get on the water and get moving. Hey. <laughs> okay, we are off. <laughs> Monty, first thing we gotta do is adjust our maps in the old map holder. Good job, dude. Okay, so right off the bat here, we've got a half mile portage to start the day off right, then a teeny little lake, and another little almost, or just under, er, right in between a half mile and a quarter mile so we'll say a third mile third mile ish yeah it's pretty close yeah and then we'll fish once we get to that second lake not the first oh jeez there's another old scratch in the old the old us is good times Next one's like a third of a mile. After that, it's just under a quarter mile. And then it's just a little hop, skip, and a jump. And we're on the big old lake that we started on for the day. Well, we, we're on the lake that we started on the whole trip on. Dude, I'm telling you guys, listen, listen, you got one already? No way. No. Did you, you, didn't, you cast it like five feet. Listen, you guys, I caught a lake trout yesterday. It was between 15, 25 inches at some point in that lake. The, the, the pike was at least 50 inches. Oh, Jake lost his paddle. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you gotta, that's why you always carry a backup.
See, I'm trying to go straight right now, and you guys are just crushing the shore, man. Dude, you're so far away. I know, Pose is well, like drinking and driving. I'm trying to turn. Dude. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Let's take a few casts. We've got a nice little cove here. on this cast we're gonna move on to the next lake got my chin straps on it's a little breezy too breezy to fish on this lake so we're gonna do our final portage for the day and possibly the trip and just troll on the next lake because we've got a ways to go on a big old lake and I can just drop a line and troll with the breeze we should be essentially blowing with the wind today which would be pretty sweet let's get a little wavy You know what, just because we haven't got a bite yet, we're gonna throw out the big old monster. Yeah. <laughs> that pole is shaking so hard, I got a big old lure on there. And I couldn't put it back very far, every time I let the line way out I got seaweed instantly, so I've got it only like 20 feet behind the boat. We hear a moose or something. <laughs> yeah, dudes. Oh, was that a bull, a mom, and a calf? Oh, dude. Uh, go by my team. Nice. We saw our moose, dude. Heck yeah, that's awesome. A bull, I, I'm sure I'll be able to zoom in on that, but it was a bull, a mom, and a calf. Hey, Monty. And Monty didn't even bark at him. That's a good boy, Monty. <laughs> He did great, but yeah, he was a young bull, so he didn't want to, he just took off. Okay, look, they took off on us, but that was awesome. Glad he got to see it on his first trip. On the last full day, right before the final little portage. What a nice little treat. Oh yeah, dude. We are on the big water. I'm gonna troll this thing. I'm not gonna troll it too far behind me because we're gonna weave through some islands. They're gonna take that way and uh, troll through the wind. I'm gonna go south and just get out of the wind here. We gotta, we gotta get a bite on this big lure. I don't know if it'll happen, but we're still gonna try. We, we saw a moose today. Now I feel invincible. I feel like anything could happen. I could get that fish that I lost. They, don't still, they still don't believe that I uh, caught a lake trout, which is awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm being so vague. And I, I didn't, I took a picture for proof, but then I decided it'd be funnier to not show them the picture and make them think I'm lying. 
<laughs> oh, and I'm never gonna say anything. I'm just gonna like release this video <laughs> and they'll have to figure it out if they watch it. Oh, it's too good. It's all fun. It's all fun. Come on, we need to. I'm gonna troll this thing the whole way since we already got our one fish and we already lost our personal best pike, which is not on camera, but it was by far the biggest pike I've ever had on my line because I saw it. It was next to the boat, its head fit in the net, it was huge. Anyways, stupid mistake. Don't ever put a big fish in a little net or even try. Anyways, yes, we're gonna troll this because it's fine. Our only goal is to get a bite on this lure. We're just gonna fish with this out the rest of the day. Those two made an interesting choice going on that side of the lake because they got to cross to this side and it's breezy. Hey, that loon just looned at me. Loo! Loo! Oh, Loo -loo -loo -loo! Loo! he called back. He must have liked my impersonation of balloons. great so far I kind of like it kept the rain out of my face pretty good I can fit my hat underneath it so I can keep my ears warm and it comes with this little uh, mouth grip thing so in case it flies off the wind you just bite this with your teeth and it won't go anywhere well there goes my hat but I still got it because I got my teeth thing I can't see But you can't hear me because I'm downwind. I can tell you I don't like your face, and you probably can't understand me. Jake gets ready too fast in the morning. Dan's terrible fisherman. Terrible, terrible fisherman. Both of you, I'm better. <laughs> Catch a fish. Uh, what was the lake before the the one where I said I caught it? That's where I caught it. I think so. Is that the one? Wherever I said I caught it, I caught it. It's 50 to 25 inches in that range. It weighed like at least three and a half pounds. Uh, I mean, it looked like a lake trout. Uh, kind of, I mean, you know how it's got that lake trouty color? Like, uh, kind of like spotted and white and on the bottom and a little darker on top and there's squiggles. Woo! 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 Woo!
Hey, Monty. No joke. I just snagged this big one. There it is. Fish on. The big lure. Oh. 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 I was going to say, it snagged and something popped out of the water after it. It's a northern. Oh. Oh. It's not huge, but it's a northern. Yes! Fish on the big lure! <laughs> yes! Oh, baby. Oh, that was so awesome. So, yeah, like I said, I snagged this thing. I was coming back to get it, and I saw the lure pop out of the water, and this pike just dove after it. And, like, I just was like, whoa, what the heck was that? And then uh, I just started reeling this thing in and just let it sit for a minute. I felt a strike, and then bam, he hit it. That was the sweetest way to catch one on this lure. That was so awesome. I'm not gonna say anything. I hope they don't believe this one either. They're coming back this way, so I think they saw me catch it, so I'm not gonna really mess with their minds now. Let's say I didn't catch anything. I'd say that was a solid 27, 28 inch pike. That was a nice pike. I'm super happy he went after that. <laughs> it worked. These guys definitely saw me doing something. We're gonna have to have a good story. Or I'll just play it really cool like it was nothing. Just a, what can I say, it was some weeds. No, I just had to snag a bunch of weeds. All right, that's what we'll go with. Did you guys say you got something? Yeah. What'd you get? Oh, really? Is it, do you got a stringer? Yeah, right. I didn't get anything. I snagged, no, I snagged like a clump of weeds and my lure snapped off. No, it, it snapped to a clump of weeds and then I, it floated up and I netted it. So I got it back. No. No, dude, I had just a big clump of weeds. Oh, no. Did you guys actually catch a walleye, though? <laughs> yeah, no fish. We thought you were lying to us. We, we saw that net, that's why I was going. Yeah, I had, to, I had to get my weed snapped off lure. I'm glad I got it back, though. $15 lure. Can't catch a fish, though. We got to paddle straight into the wind for a while into this bay, like three quarters mile. It's a big old bay, but there's some campsites up at the end that should be protected from the wind tonight. Chicken creations. I like zesty lemon chicken creations. That sounds way better than the pink salmon. Do you want pink salmon? I mean, going to eat this. Huh? Want this? You don't want it? I'll eat the salmon. I'll eat one. I don't think so. Oh. Get it? No, but I can touch bottom. I'm so close. My bad, dude. I didn't mean it. I'm trying to find my chicken creation. It's right here. It's just so far down there. I almost had it. Where is it? My pad was longer. I will make. You have to do a lot of. Uh, God See it? Things. Yep. I'm so close. Yeah! Yeah! 
Chicken of the sea, baby! <laughs> oh, you gotta eat that pineapple. Eat it. You know it. Mmm. Oh, it looks a little wet in here. Oh, it's already open? Opposing your diarrhea. Uh, it's chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea. You're just going to be hard and water. Alright, Monty. Get oh, Monty. Oh, safety test. Oh, oh, oh. oh you got some sea legs. Get him, Monty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go get him, Monty. Go ahead. Hey. I don't think he wants to jump out right now. Whoa. Whoa. Monty. Oh, stop it. Monty, no, it's okay. I'll get you a treat. Monty, hey. All right, Monty, they're just being jerks. Wingo and Wombat are out there collecting firewood. It's our new nicknames. I'm just going to set up. Mm-hmm. I'll help them process it when they get here. They can figure it out. Hey! 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 Stay back! Stay back! Stay back! Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Truce, no truce, truce. Truce. No, 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 stop. It's just, no, truce, 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 truce. Oh, no, 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 I mean truce, truce. I just mean it like, what's this? You see that? What is that, what is that? No, what is that, buddy? Oh, okay, what's that? All right, all right. Come here, come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, sneak attack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got pretty close. I got pretty close. Maybe. You guys going in right there? Probably gonna have to do all this. What do we got? You gotta process it. No. That's what you said. Before I, I said I'd process some of it. No, you said you process what we brought back. Some of it. I'd share the processing duty. Yeah. I don't even want a fire, to be honest. Let's not have a fire. I <laughs> 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 <Dumb. laughs> don't know how I just did that. <laughs> My pole floats, it turns out. I don't, I don't know what just happened. Did you 
<laughs> Keep going? Yeah, I guess. More? Hold <laughs> your horses! One. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you got some processing to do. We don't need help, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna offer zero help and just watch. It's really nice of you. When you're enjoying the fire later. From your tent. He'll you make his viewers think he's helping. Watch your eyes, Fogo. No, they got to see that I just sat here and watched behind the camera the whole time. It was quite enjoyable, actually. For a guy that didn't get any wood. I got all this wood right here. Ow! Man, dude, you, you did a good job. Thanks, see how hard that was? That was super hard. You think it's gonna stay lit? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? It's your life. It's my destiny, dude. Whatever philosophical belief pleases you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I caught fish today. Where? I caught a 30 inch pike today. Bam. Damn, dude. Your pike are all sizes. Dude, it was like 30 inches. I'm not even joking. I always caught a fish every day, by golly. No, not every day, just like the 50 some inch lake trout or pike. Oh! <laughs> and then like the 15 to 25 inch lake trout. That one I netted. And then the 30 inch pike today. trays for that for that lake trout we're cooking what lake trout that lake trout you caught today i didn't catch a lake trout yeah we saw you net it i caught a 30 inch pike today what lake what what lake um uh temperance oh, yeah. or no brule brule this lake brule oh yeah it's 30 inches about <laughs> I'm huh? impressed if you catch a bass seeing your fishing. Uh, I caught it on the big lure too. Oh, you did? Yeah, on the monster lure. Oh, wow. That cha I thought you caught it on something else earlier. No, no, no. I caught, caught so many fish this trip, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I caught the 30 inch pike on the big lure. And I wasn't even trolling, I was casting. And you didn't keep it. No, I was real. No, I didn't keep it. I let it go. Why didn't you keep it, dude? Huh? Why didn't you keep it? I feel like if you guys would have saw it, you would have been in such shock from the magnitude of this fish that you would have probably been upset. So I let it go. Yeah, alright. No, I did. You know, true friends would just believe me when I say stuff. I believe you, dude. Alright. Alright. About the lake trout? Yep. About the, the, the big pike? Yep. And the one I caught today? Yep. Good. Thanks. I needed that. That worked. Oh, dude. Check your pants. Monty chilling dirt like that? Monty's just, Monty's just chilling around wherever he wants. He's all that for happy. Monty is the most content dog in the world right now. He didn't clean it out. Damn, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. Got it? We're gonna cut the tree down. See? Monty put himself in the most uncomfortable position. Actually, you know, it doesn't look so bad when you rest his head on that. I got that picture of the big dipper in the lights. <laughs> oh boy, Monty's probably hungry. Hey Monty. 
I gotta eat, you know. I do gotta eat. Alright, Monty, go ahead. Alright, gonna have spaghetti because I didn't catch any fish today for these guys. Or, I, never mind, I did catch a 30 inch pike and I let it go. That's what I mean. <laughs> So did you catch one? Yeah. I'm confused. You're full of shit. I did catch one. Yeah, you're like a little boy who cry wolf, dude. And everyone just said it's funny. Dude, I caught it like it was. It was probably more like 27 inches, but it was thick, he healthy pike. Think this is hot? <laughs> Why would you do that? All right, it's gotta come off the fire. You already fed Monty, didn't you? Oh yeah, he's already eating. This is going to be the perfect consistency. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I'm going to destroy this. Wood can't bring me down. Oh no, 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 no. That was a beautiful thing. bed, Monty. Yeah, it's... Gosh, Monty. So anyways, yeah, so we're going to wake up early, no food, maybe just a little coffee, and we're going to get out of here pretty early um, to see what's up. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Hi, Monty. No licking. Stop it. I slept pretty good last night, but uh, stop that. You stop that. The sun has risen. And it's time to pack up. Right back to the car. What do you see, Monty? Ready? Hi, Monty. Good morning. All right. <coughs> okay. <coughs> New day. Hi. Okay. Hey. I gotta poop. Dad's gotta poop, Monty. Alright. We're just gonna be packing up here. I'm gonna take a quick poop and then we're gonna do a little coffee and oatmeal sequence. No oatmeal today. No coffee and oatmeal today. Silly. Okay. 
I'm just gonna finish packing up here, pack away that DSLR, and then we're gonna get in the water and get moving. Hey, dude. It's a sunshiny day. It's a sunshiny day. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna go troll this big lure and hopefully I'll catch a fish on it finally. We need to catch at least one fish on this dang trip. Wait, I thought you already Oh yeah, I caught 50 inch pike, 15, 25 inch lake trout, 30 inch pike. My story is straight. Straight truth. Oh hey, it's breezy. Okie dokes. So we've got a few miles paddle back to the car. It's a bright blue skies day. I mean, look at this. Would you just look at that? Just blue skies. Not a cloud in sight. What a nice day. We're gonna troll a little bit on the way back. Maybe get our personal best pike still, which we already lost our personal best pike, but we still have a chance. You know, there's still hope. There's still water. There's sun. There's a lure in the water. We're still out here. We're still hopeful. So, as far as the second week of this trip goes, that is completely up in the air. We need to go get to service so Jay can see if there's something he needs to tend to or if it's better just to go back. We're gonna look at the weather. It'd be smarter for both of us to not do another week. But when you get a perfectly blue skies day like this, it kind of, the itch is just, kind of makes you want to stay out for another week. Now, if it was rainy like that second or third day every day, then you're just like, I don't know. Well, if it's like this, this is, this is gorgeous. This is perfect. Oh, and there, I just let out all the line in my reel. It's very smart to do. Because not only do you have a chance of losing your lure, you have a chance of losing all your line. Listen to your heart. Oh, it is calling for you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going. And I don't know why. I listen to your heart. Before you tell him goodbye. I don't know why I got that song stuck in my head right now. But I do. There it is. No fish. Time to bring in the line because we gotta go around some points and we're almost nearing the end of the journey. This was an awesome week. I had a lot of fun. I don't get to do extended trips like this uh, out in the wilderness like this with people very often. So I had a, I had a blast. It was a lot of fun. I know it's a little bit of a change of pace, a little bit less you know, me time, a lot more just chilling around, hanging out with the people there, you know, that are camped and whatnot, my friends. Um, but that's how she goes. I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. And uh, yeah, we ate some good food. We uh, saw our moose, we saw three of them, we saw the meese. You know, we ha almost had our personal best pike. I'm really sad if I don't get to have that footage of at least a little proof. At least Dan saw it. Um, you know, we looked at it on the GoPro and then before my SD card fried. So at least we got, I, I got one eyewitness that there was a big fish on. But it was huge, it really was. But yeah, this was Dan's first trip ever like this and I think he had a great time. He did well, he had a lot of fun. So, we just got a little bit more paddling to do, grab the canoe and we're getting back to the car and heading on our way, figuring out the next step. So as always guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next video.
Oh, oh no 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 no! Don't you listen to Jake Ski Guy? Don't you listen to him? So due to life stuff, we've decided to not go with the second week. So Monty gets his bacon, or his burger. Oh yeah, Monty, here you go. Oh, you want some more? Oh, here, here you go, Monty, just, there you go. You want some more, Monty? Is that not fast enough for you? <laughs> All right, don't choke. Don't choke, Monty. You'll get the whole thing, okay? Ooh, just, just be careful. All right, all right, good boy, good boy. You've earned it.